Doug Williamson is the president and CEO of the Beacon Group and a recent speaker at the Strategic Capability Network in Toronto. He sat down with Canadian HR Reporter TV to talk to us about being competitive on a global stage. Why do you feel businesses in Canada suffer from a deficit of ambition? I think the main reason we have a deficit of ambition is that it's been very easy for Canadian businesses to do business in the United States. Close proximity, geography, and language. So I think it's just easier sometimes to do what's easy rather than do the extra hard work. So I think it really comes down to, to being a little bolder and getting outside of that comfort zone of, of the English language North America. Can you tell me about the concept of a hidden champion? Hidden Champions are very special companies. Hidden Champions are companies that have over a 50% global market share. They're more than twice as big as their nearest competitor. And they're kind of not known. They're, they're kind of hidden gems or hidden champions. And what, what we've discovered from studying these is that they have particular characteristics. They tend to be a lot of family-run companies. They tend to be from small towns rather than big cities. And they tend to have a mindset of exploration where they go to new places and they have the courage to go to a new place with a new product and kind of market it there. So they view their world, uh, they view their market rather as the world rather than their immediate geography. So it's, it's just reframing where the opportunities are. Are the opportunities in your neighborhood? in your country or in the world. And if you think big, then you're going to have more opportunities. How should we as leaders prepare for a transformational challenge and what needs to change? I think it begins with thinking. So transformation begins with transformational thinking. So it's really the ability to look at the environment around you, to look at the context, to see the dots and connect the dots and I think it's about not being afraid to, to try new things. So transformation begins in the mind and then it has to be executed. And executing, executing change or transformation is, is key, but it begins with how big is your brain? How bold can you think? How can you see the opportunities? How can you connect the dots? How do you paint a vivid picture of the future? That's really what transformation is about. What are some of the most important lessons we can learn from hidden champions? I, I think it's about not being afraid to explore. So it's getting out and going to places, being confident in your knowledge, in your products and services, and, and going out and talking to people. So engaging with people. So that, that's number one. I think number two is, is finding good local partners in different countries to work with finding like-minded organizations uh, that can help you. I think the third thing is, is understanding your customer's value chain. Where does the customer see value and how can you embed yourself in, in their value chain? And then I think the fourth thing is around people. And when it comes to people, it's really the importance of middle management in connecting with middle management. And I think way too many companies have CEO to CEO conversations and I think the more you can have dialogue deep in the belly of an organization, middle management to middle management, that's where networks get built, that's where relationships get built. So those are, those are four things that I would take as lessons from Hidden Champions.